Uh, also tonight, the future of a popular St. Petersburg event is up in the air. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay here at 5. Good to have you with us. I'm Josh Sidorowicz. And I'm Courtney Robinson. First Friday in St. Pete will not be happening this week. And tonight, organizers say it's due to a lack of funding. 10 Tampa Bay, Shannon Clo, live from Central Avenue tonight. Shannon, what do local businesses have to say about the cancellation? Well, Courtney and Josh, I have been talking to business owners all day today, and they tell me that First Fridays is great for them. They say it closes down parts of Central Avenue and it allows people just to bot from business to business. But with it being canceled this month, they won't see a boom in business. cool, fun night, to be honest. First Friday in St. Pete shuts down Central Avenue, allowing people to party in the streets. All of our doors are wide open. People just go from one place to another. They pop around and they all hang out, and it's, it's a great time. An even better time for business owners like Lauren Ambrosio, who is the general manager of the Crafty Squirrel. For business, it's, it really is one of the best nights of the month. For our business, we do pull in the most money that weekend. This December, that won't be the case as organizers say they were forced to cancel the monthly event. It is very hard to find funding for. It's not easy and it does cost quite a lot of money, about almost $12,000. That money goes to city fees, including sanitation and police officers, plus insurance costs. Financially, we can't hold on to the event unless we find some funding for it. There are sponsors like many of the businesses along Central. They get involved because it allows local businesses to blossom. There's local artists who play in the middle of the street. We're supporting local businesses by providing at their food trucks. All the businesses down here, they're getting drinks hot from them. Which is why business owners like Lauren hope to see the first of the month looking different from this. For business, it brings out a lot of people. We really do love it as a business. And event organizers telling me they are hoping to having the funding in place by February of early next year. And a lot of people are asking, well, why isn't the city funding it? I did ask city officials that and they tell me that this is not their event. I'm live in St. Pete, Shannon Flo, 10 Tampa Bay. So she